Now, what are the criteria for revenue allocation in Nigeria? One, even through balanced development. This criteria, or rather, this criterion is based on equal development of every part of the country. Two, equality of government. The government has the responsibility to provide certain services to all her citizens because they are all under the same government. Three, derivation. The principle is based on the contribution of each state to the federally collected revenue or to the federal ports. Population four. The sharing of revenue here is based on the number of people living in a geographical area, for example, a local government. And five, the criteria of need. need. This is based on the peculiarity of a place. For example, the Niger Delta where oil is produced in Nigeria may have specific needs like road construction through the swamp and then the building or construction of bridges. Under such condition, government has allocation to make for it. Six, fiscal effect or internal revenue efforts. Fiscal effects or internal revenue efforts. This is measured by the ratio of internal revenue generated by states to the ratio of expenditure. This means that for government to actually spend money in a specific state, government will also weigh the internal revenue generated by such states. Seven, federal presence. This depends on federal government investment in a state. The less the federal presence, the less the revenue from this criteria. For example, the federal capital territory of Nigeria has amount of money from the revenue allocation yearly because of federal presence in Abuja. Eight, education factor or educational factor. This is based mainly on primary enrollment. For example, where we have several number 
of children of school age but are not in school, the federal government actually have allocation for such situation in the revenue allocation formula.